So here we've got a board with uh, six of the very cheap eBay special OLED devices. These are uh, 128 by 64 pixels and they cost typically about £2 or $2.50, something like that. Uh, even cheaper in uh, larger quantities. Um, these all have the same I2C address on them. So in this case, I think uh, we're hex 3C. Um, and the trouble with that is that uh, to address them individually and separately in an array, a linear array or a matrix, it uh, becomes quite difficult. Uh, it is possible to change the addre address by a little bit of SMD uh, desoldering on the back of these, but you can only change the address from one to another. Uh, and, and it still really doesn't help with any larger quantity more than more than more than two, and it's not really possible to buy these with different I2C addresses on them uh, at source. Um, so the best thing to do is uh, the practical thing to do is to use a multiplexer, and here we've got the uh, we've got the TCA Toshiba. My camera's not focusing. Uh, the, 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 the Toshiba TCA95 uh, multiplexer. Now this has got eight. This has got the ability to multiplex eight separate SDA and SCL lines, and appears to the uh, appears to the uh, whole system as just a single device uh, on uh, an SDA and SCL line at hex 70 or, or that can be changed uh, through 17 79 through these uh, uh, these jumpers here uh, so uh, so we're exposing uh, one ITC address and by sending some data in we can direct uh, we can direct the uh, I2C data packet to the appropriate uh, appropriate output port and display um, so uh, again, very cheap displays for a few dollars, very cheap multiplexer, not a complex board as you can see, and here we've got six units in a linear configuration. So let's just have a look at uh, how that works out in the software. Um, so we've done some software here. And we've got a little glitch on the right hand side, but that's not an artifact of this board, that's some other problem. But you can see there the, uh, the screen's being being updated. Now if I do that again, um, what we can actually see is this unmultiplex display at the top is displaying the screen, each individual screen output from the Luma software. And that's and we can then see that being directed to the appropriate uh, uh, OLED on the board. Now this is great because uh, I could have eight there, um, and because these uh, multiplexers are individually addressable, I can have I think up to six or eight of the uh, individual multiplexers. So I could have any number of linear or matrix configuration of these these displays. Uh, and, and what I'm thinking here is to use this uh, as a kind of smart display, perhaps in my kitchen, to to uh, display uh, perhaps environment uh, environment uh, parameters such as temperature, humidity, light intensity, sound intensity, air quality, that kind of thing, whether lights are switched on or off. Um, and, and, and the prototype here is just a six unit linear array. I'm, I'm thinking perhaps we could go six by six or something <laughs> like that. Um, and that would be quite uh, quite cool. Um, anyway, uh, stay tuned because uh, more to come from this. Uh, I mean, d j just just one thing to note, uh, in, in, in this configuration, uh, I2C obviously is slower than the serial per peripheral interface, SPI. So it's unlikely we're going to be able to do any 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 real real time animation here. These are all going to likely to be static screens because you see there is a refresh time for each of these. Um, I think probably under half a second to get across six. But if we had a larger number, we could be, you know, we could for a full refresh, we could be in the realms of a couple of seconds. But uh, you know, if if we're only refreshing a, 
a small number of screens at any given time on a piece of data update, uh, then then probably not likely to to, to, to be a problem. Okay.